Welcome back trail hunters and in this video I'm going to be giving you my 210 plus mile review of my Ultra Lone Peak 4.5. Let's go. Hello, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. If all of that is right up your street, then do consider subscribing by hitting that button below for more content just like that every single week. Bought the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 in an RAI for about 120 quid, which is about $160 uh, just before I started the PCT. Uh, in San Diego. I actually mailed my 4.0s which I had on me up to my friend Brad in Washington so thanks Brad for looking after those. Thing is I, they weren't fresh, I wanted a fresh pair of uh, trail runners for when I started it so all they had in the REI were the 4.5s. I thought right it's time to give them a shot. In just a sec I'm going to be going over all of the features and the things that I liked and disliked but first let's go over the specs. These weigh in at 10.5 ounces, that's 298 grams on their website, but on the scales, this is what they came up to. I've just had to cut here because I weighed the shoes after doing the video by mistake, should have weighed them before. 630 something grams. Surely that's per shoe on their website, 298 grams. I don't know. Uh, if someone could let us know, that would be good. They have a zero drop and their stack height is 25 millimeters. They have a durable, quick dry air mesh upper, a stone guard sole, so it's really good for going over those kind of really tough stony areas on the trail. They've got a really incredible grip, which they call trail claws. They've got gator traps on the front and on the back, and they've got a little lip on the back, which gives added cushion on the heel. Not many people like that little lip on the back, but I find it gives me some added comfort as I'm walking, especially downhill, um, or if I start running or anything like that, it just gives a little bit of spring. So when I was in REI, I actually had to size up from an eight to a nine. Uh, I don't know if that's because of US sizing or anything, but it says a UK nine on the inside on the label, so I assume they're the same. I actually put the nine on, and as I walked out the store, I started walking around for a few hours with them on. They started digging into my hoe, and I was like, that really shouldn't happen, not for a pair of uh, Lone Peaks, even if they are a new model that shouldn't happen so I took them back to the RAI store and ended up just replacing them for a 9 which was really handy. The thing is with the 4.0s I always go with an 8 and they're totally fine so I don't know why I had to size up but after I sized up to the 9s with these they ended up being much much roomier which is fine because as you're doing a through height your feet are going to swell but I just found my feet had way too much room around the bridge of the foot um, yeah, you want as much room as you can with the toe box on these things, but with the bridge of the foot, I felt like I just had to keep tightening the laces and adjusting my foot inside. Uh, they weren't as comfy and as well fitted as the 4.0s. Luckily, I didn't need to break in on the 9s, and uh, yeah, they were absolutely fine. Just a few little issues with the amount of room that I had. The Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s are definitely more durable than their predecessor, the 4.0. Uh, I could have definitely got an extra 200 miles out of these. I'm still wearing them. These are actually my only shoes that I'm, I'm wearing at the moment. I'm currently wearing my flip-flops because I don't actually have another pair of shoes to wear. But, you know, <laughs> when needs must. Yeah, definitely better mileage than the last model and uh, still very comfortable. They are definitely showing signs of wear and tear though after about 200 miles. Uh, of course, the front a little lippy bit is starting to come off a little bit. That's expected with the Ultra Lone Peaks. The, the same problem has been there. Uh, with the 4.0s and the predecessors. Uh, loads of people seem to moan about this, but actually it's not a problem. It's just a little bit of uh, wear and tear on something that, to be quite honest, is just uh, face value anyway. It doesn't have any structural value to the shoe. There is a significant amount of wearing down of the um, grip on the sole, but that's gonna be expected. I have pushed about 200 miles in these things. There is a little bit of thread coming off on the back of the shoe, which is just for the gator trap. Um, but again, you know, I think a lot of the wear and tear that's on here is gonna be expected after the mileage that I've put on them. So yeah, not too bad and probably better than the 4.0s. 120 quid on the Ultra website. These aren't a cheap shoe. You are paying for a premium product here, um, but the build quality and the fit, the look, the grip, the, the amount that they last, the mileage that you can get on these things for a trail runner, they're very good. So I think you are getting what you pay for with these shoes. Maybe they could probably be brought down to about 90 just to make us all happy. But you know, we can't have it all, I think. 
I'm very happy to pay the price that they're asking for these shoes. I'm even more happy to pay the price that they were asking for the 4.0s, but you know, this was all that was available at REI. Still a very good shoe, uh, and I think they're worth the price. They're just very different to what I'm used to. I think the number one pet peeve of mine with the 4.5s is that the laces are just so freaking long. I've actually had to triple knot these around itself. Because compared to the 4.0s, these were just, these are just so long. It's incredible. I don't know why they've given us so much excess lace. Look at that. Look at how much lace there is. That's after they, after they've been done up, you've got all of that lace to deal with. So you end up making a loop that's like half that size and then wrapping the lace around it. But the 4.0s, they weren't nowhere near as long. I just don't know why they decided to make the laces so much longer. They made a new lace structure, which is fine, but I don't, I don't really care about the lace structure. I, I care about tripping up on these ridiculously long laces. So Ultra, great shoe, but why did you have to make the laces so long? Because the bridge on the top of this shoe is much looser fitting. I did find that I had to keep stopping and tightening my laces a lot more, especially when they were new and when they were kind of stretching to the shape of my foot. With the 4.0s, I didn't have to do that so much, probably because they were much better fitted to my feet personally. My last pet peeve of the Lone Peak 4.5s it's probably the fact that they aren't my preferred choice over the 4.0s. You'd think that because these are updated, they would make them better, but they haven't. <laughs> I don't know. Like for some people, they might have made them better. Everyone's feet are different, but for me, they've made them not as good. So I don't know. That's kind of just annoying. Like I want an update to a shoe that I love and I want things to be better. I don't want them to be a step backwards in development. So yeah, like they're still an amazing shoe but I just wish I preferred them to the last ones. These are definitely for long distance hikers, they're for trail runners, they're for people who prefer comfort over durability. People who buy a trail runner like this for a through hike which is over 2,000 miles long, they're not gonna mind switching these out for new pairs every two, three, 400 miles, as opposed to if you're wearing a boot, you might be able to do a whole through hike in a boot. The problem with that is they're heavy and you're gonna have your feet chewed to shreds. These are perfect for three season hiking, even in a bit of snow, but if you're gonna be in wet and cold conditions, then I do recommend using some seal skins waterproof socks. I use these on the PCT up in the snowy conditions of the San Jacinto and I'll tell you what, they were fantastic. They turned these trail runners into something that was waterproof and they were really comfortable and breathable as well. So I highly recommend that you pick up a pair of those waterproof socks. I'll put links to those in the description as well. Overall, these are a good shoe and worth the money, but I think for me, they're a step back from the 4.0 for sure. I just wish that the trail runners that I knew and loved were just improved Again, everyone's feet are different. Some people might have felt that these were improved upon on the 4.0s, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> you get what you're given, and I'm glad I bought them. I'm glad I tied them out, but I will st I will be sticking to my 4.0s in the future for my future through hiking. Okay, campfire question. What trail shoes do you use and why? Let us know down below in the comments section. The trail hunter community would love to hear from you. Okay, everyone, thanks very much for watching this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.